Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now today we're going to be taking a look at RC Billy Bass. Now this I made quite a while ago. I originally had a completely different fish on there. If you look back at the original videos, you can see it was made out of a very rough Billy Bass. And the reason is I used that from parts, parts that I used when I was collecting fish for a very long time and I just had horrible parts. I just kind of glued it together. The whole novelty of it was just being RC. It didn't have to look good or anything. I had that one skin on there that I had ever since the beginning until I switched it to a slightly better looking skin because I failed on trying to glue the eyes. And now that original skin has a different purpose and that other skin it's just on this monstrosity here. But now, I completely made it out of another Billy Bass, and it looks so much better now. So this is actually the original controller. This is the one I used ever since I first made it. As you can see, it looks very homemade. That's because it is. And uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, here's the tail head in the mouth. Uh, you press that, it moves the mouth, head, tail. And you can kind of get comfortable using it, almost like a game controller in a way. And it, that's how I get so accurate with it is I just, you know, it's I get muscle memory and it's just pretty easy to control now. The first one I made actually just used a battery compartment. But now I actually wired it directly to the adapter jack so I can just plug it into the wall and not worry about the batteries dying. So let me demonstrate that. So you can see there goes the tail, the head, and the mouth. So I mean it's pretty easy to control. Now, conveniently, when I got this Billy Bass, there was already a hole in the back, and that's where I just run the wires through. On the original one, it just used the battery compartment, so I just ran the wires through the adapter jack hole. But now it works out pretty well. So other than it just having a controller sticking out of it, it's really no different than any other Billy Bass. I mean, it looks the same. But I'm going to take it apart and show you the inside and you can see what's really going on inside of the plaque. So now you better get prepared. It's pretty complicated at the inside. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now I'm not going to take it apart too far because I don't want to have to redo any of this wiring but basically all it is is a simple circuit you connect a switch to a battery to a motor you turn on the switch and the motor goes I mean I just did that three times you know for the head mouth and tail and it works great there is no remote control latency because it's not wireless it's all wired in it's not going to be an RC car no RC car is required it just works it's accurate it's fast there is no poor reception or anything so yeah that's basically it and i just have it wired to the adapter jack now it's kind of a pain to get back together so i'm just gonna do that off camera so this is pretty much what the setup looks like i have the rc billy bass over there on the wall I have the spotlight pointing at it. I usually have my iPad on that shelf there so I can watch a video of the fish I'm trying to replicate. And my phone just sits there on the tripod. So there you have it. That's how you make an RC Billy Bass. It's pretty simple. Now the two motor fish are different. You may need an RC car for that because the motor spins two ways. But I don't know, maybe there's a switch that can make it go the other way. A lot of people were asking how I made this, so... There you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.